Hello everybody, I am Oscar W. Fitchett. And I'm Will. And we are the stars of uh, the uh, brand new Hill Pictures project, VHS Pirates, which if you didn't understand what it was from the weird trailer... We I don't, don't blame you. I don't even know what that was. Um, it's just a web series basically about two guys who embark on this almost an epic type of journey they're going to try and distribute. Don't try and make a sound no. like the next Lord of the Rings. Basically, <laughs> it's two guys. They are using they this easy up. CD system to distribute new films through VHSs. Which Instead of yeah. they're getting away around the whole torrent thing and the DVD copy. You know what? We'll let the first episode explain all and that And if you to still you. don't get it after the series and leave some comments, Creative criticism, though, no trolling. This is gay law because then we we literally won't answer you. I just want to say that I try to make this series as low budget as possible. We don't have a boom mic. We we're using the inbuilt mic in my HD camcorder. Yep. We don't have. A, I'm using iMovie to edit this. It's. I want to try and make this as low budget as possible. So if you see some mic, not great mic pickups, because mm. we're literally using. Literally use, we're literally using this microphone, yeah, and we're using this very camera to do all this. And you may also notice some continuity errors. Error, uh, the errors. See that we was, that was we, were, we were at a tight time in the yes. world. We want to do this for fun, and we want to show you guys. Time was against us when we were doing this. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy the first yeah, episode, and we hope you guys enjoy the whole season. Yeah, what? there'll be five episodes, just to let you know, and it, about. 10 to 15 minutes, I would say, the length of the yeah. episode. So anyways, thanks guys. We'll let you go ahead and watch the uh, first episode now, and uh, see ya. They're going to hurt. They will. Hey mate, you alright? Hey mate, yeah I'm fine. Yeah, uh, could you just come here for a moment? Yeah, I'm just on my way, you know, to the shops in the yards because I just needed to get some milk. Because this morning we looked in and we didn't have any in. We was like, oh Will, you don't have pork pie. We don't have any milk in. And then I just said... Right, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> hey man, glad you're here. Yeah, me too man. So, the reason why I brought you is because I found a great way how we can... What's that? It's what? That! Milk! Why on earth did you bring milk? I told you. On the phone. Did you? Yeah, you know, but I was all like, Well, we haven't got the milk, and I was like, Oh, whatever, I'll go get some, you know, all that uh, business. Yeah. Hmm. Same skimmed. Yeah? I first skimmed myself. Superfast games you sound? Yep. So... As you were saying... What? Well, I still have a skim? No, not that. You know the whole, oh, I found a great way we can... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I found a great way how we can make money! Oh, cool. Talk about being here, mate. You. Thank you very much. What are you doing? So you did ask how I found our way, how we can make money? Yes, I Well, did. like this. Oh. What the hell is this? How about for yourself? A VHS? Yep. Oh, Clockwork Orange. Nice choice. Hey, how are you Oh, no, wait. How is this going to make us money, seriously? Well, allow me to explain, young Bill. Will. What? Will, not Bill. I'm not the kind of guy who has the Bill going on for him. Okay. And I'm explaining you, Will. People, the public of today's generation, love their entertainment. They really like it, don't they? I mean, yeah. I, I want entertainment. I couldn't live with my entertainment. You couldn't live without entertainment, could you? So, what is the main source of entertainment for today's generation? Video games. Besides some video games. Cute cat videos? Besides from cute cat videos. Uh, oh, movies. Correct. 
Mm, you're right. Movies. Right. The main, well, third main source for today's generation of entertainment is movies. Now, do you know what else today's generation, you know, the people, the public, uh -huh. like doing? They like saving what? money. Yeah. Sometimes a little bit more than their own entertainment. Who else could top of entertainment? Clearly saving money, of course. Yeah, right? that's the big thing now. Yeah, no, right? Now, movies, are magic aren't they? <laughs> movies, the third main source of today's generation of entertainment, can be pricey a bit, mm. right? I mean, it may not seem like it, with £5 for a cinema ticket, £10 for a new DVD release, mm. and, you know, a few bob for some, you know, on-demand mm. thing. However, once you include the price for the popcorn, mm. the tempting price for the Blu-ray equivalent of that same film, oh. you know, I know, it's yeah. very tempting, it's HD and all, and also the online streaming demand. Yeah. You pay, you know, the monthly fee, mm. you know, I, I, I couldn't go with something, can it? Mm. Right? Expensive, you know. So, what may seem like the logical, cheap reason for buying DVDs, you know, buying the films that people want for cheap prices yeah, is yeah. piracy, right? Right! Wrong! Oh, well, sort of. Okay. You see, piracy is a very fine line of walk on. I mean, yeah. with the internet police keeping an eye on those torrents, and the government are still clamping down the DVD piracy. I have a question. Can't wait till I finish. No, I can't wait. Fine, go ahead. The internet police? Really? Yes. It's a real thing. Okay, okay, okay. Can I continue? Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Sausages. Sausages? Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? What do you mean? I'll so much rather thought. The government is trying to clear down on DVD right. releases. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, you know, piracy, fine line walk on. The yeah. government's still trying to clamp down on DVD piracy. Okay. Stuff like that. So, that's where we come in. Right. Because no one will be looking for a VHS pirate anymore. It's an outdated format. No one looks at it. Not the police, not the government, not the internet police. It's a real thing, I'll tell you now. No one's looking for VHS pirate anymore. And that's where we come in. Boom, we're here to get Yeah, but who's really going to want to buy something on an outdated format? It won't work, man. Yes, it will. We're selling these five pounds. Five pounds? No. Now no one's gonna really wanna buy something of that price with one of these pieces of junk. You're, you're insane, man. I'm Am I? Go. Are you sure no one wanna pay for that? Five pounds for that? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Now, still interested? I'm still interested, but what I am interested in is how much profit are we gonna be making from this then? Well... Please do tell, brother. Well, let me think. Okay. We'll be... I buy the taste for a pound. Okay. Uh, we sell the tape for five pound, including the film with it, you know, of course. Yeah. And uh, overall, that would give us a four pound profit. Right. Which, if you join us, two pound each. Oh, two pound? I know, I know, right? I just thought, I was like, yeah, two pound, what's up? That's not like a lot. one pound, two pound. I can get that. I can just steal. I can get off the floor, mate. You know, I can do that. Okay, okay. But, however, you see that water money? You see that water money? Yeah. That is from eight tapes. Eight tapes that I sold within two weeks. Overall, within a fortnight, I gained myself £32. Now, if you join me, yeah. we can double that work and we can make double the money. Yeah. Thus, £64 all together, which in retrospect gives us £32 each. Yes! No. What? Just because. No, I, I just did the math. I know, I know, but, but. Just because we have like double the workforce doesn't necessarily mean we'll have double the profit though. Well, I know, it's, it's a possibility. It's a possibility, but it's not a standard guarantee though. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Do you want to help me or don't? Yes. You win or you not? Yes, I mean, with a Luther King worthy speech like that, how can I possibly turn that down? I know. I always knew I can be a motivational speaker. Oh, come on, man, you're an art school dropout. Now you're a VHS pirate. You're not living the life of hardly Harvey Dent, really, are you? Hey, so, do you want to get into business or do you just want to stand here critiquing my life decisions? All right, okay. In for it? In for it. Let's do business.